to talk a little bit about dilutions, and you'll have to do dilutions a lot in the lab classes you take, and they're really important when you do any type of experiment. So I want to talk about how we talk about them, how we determine the final concentration of a dilution, and how to actually make them in the lab. First, I want to just go over a few words to make sure we're using the same language. So you'll start with an original solution, which we sometimes call the stock solution. And then we want to make a dilution. So we'll use some of the stock and put it into a larger volume. And what we make that larger volume up with is called a diluent. So this is oftentimes water, but it could be any other liquid that you're making up that volume and diluting the stock solution in. All right, so first, how do we talk about dilutions? So if we have a stock solution and it's 10 times more concentrated than we want it in the final dilution, we call it a 10x stock solution. And if it's 10x, we want to dilute it 1 to 10. And in this case, then, 10 is our dilution factor. Okay? So we want to make a tenfold dilution. We're going to dilute it 1 to 10. Our stock concentration is 10x. Therefore, our dilution is 1 tenth of the original concentration. concentration if we know the stock concentration. We'll keep it simple for the first example. So if we want one tenth of original and we have a one molar stock, then in order to figure out the final concentration, we say one molar times one tenth equals 0 0.1 molar. Similarly, if we start with 100 millimolar and we want one, a 1 to 10 dilution, then we'll end up with a 10 millimolar final concentration. So essentially, you're dividing the stock by the dilution factor. All right, so how do we actually make up that dilution in the lab? Lots of three making dilution. So up until now, we've just been talking about concentration and not talking about volumes, but obviously if we want to make it in a lab, we need to start thinking about volumes. So let's say we want one liter of a 1 to 10 dilution of a 1 molar stock. Okay, so we just went through the calculation, so we know the final concentration will be 0.1 molar, because we just divide 1 molar by 10. And similarly, when we're working with volumes, then we want one liter, one tenth of that is 0.1 liters, or 100 milliliters of the stock. Okay, so to mix this in the lab, we would add 0 0.1 liter stock plus 0 0.9 liter diluent, and that will give us one liter total volume. Okay. What if we wanted 13 mils 
of a 1 to 10 dilution. Then we would use 1.3 mils stock plus 11.7 mils of the diluent. And that would give us 13 mils total volume. Okay? And you can see that 1.3 is 1 tenth of 13 mils. So we can also think about this in terms of equivalent fractions. So another way to calculate this would be to say we want a 1 to 10 dilution, and we want the final volume to be 13 mils, and then we can solve for x, and x would be 1.3. And then you would just subtract this from the total volume to get 11.7 mils of your diluent. Okay? So there are a couple different ways you can calculate this, but it's really important that you double check your work and make sure that your final dilution you make in your experiment is correct.